Welcome to the Fish and Hunt. I'm Dave Butfield. And I'm Bo Scott. This week, uh, Sydney International Boat Show, Glebe Island. Very excited to be here. And we're at the Garmin stand. We're going to be up on stage soon talking about some new technology, very exciting technology it Garmin is. have got to uh, offer. It's mind blowing. It's called Pen Optics, and we'll talk to Jason very shortly. Also, we go to Honda, an uh, exciting new kayak. New kayak that I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a go at, to tell the truth. Oh, me too. It's a big boys' toy, though, I reckon. It is, mate. Uh, also, talking barrel winches. Um, they're very popular in Victoria, yep. but now becoming very popular up here. Yeah, the stress free stand there. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Well, guys, we've got a jam packed show, so stick around. to survive, barely getting by, feels like a lifetime till payday, come the weekend, I'm gone again, fishing my cares away, so if I hook a big one, or I hook a small one, I'm hooked on fishing again I'm hooked on fishing again uh, We're here with Jason from Garmin, mate. Great to catch up with you. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. Now, mate, I'm pretty excited. There's some new technology out. It's changing so quick. And uh, it's like mobile phones. You buy a mobile phone and six weeks later you get a new one. There's a new one out. So that's the same when it comes to Sonar. Yeah, absolutely. Look, we've, we've uh, released our new game-changing Garmin Pen Optics. So it's, it's live data that's showing on the screen. Okay. So. Now, we've got a screen here. Uh, mate, this is forward scanning, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, if you can imagine the, the boat uh, at the top here, you know, the transducer's on, on an electric. What it's allowing us to do now is to sort of face and view into the, um, into the reeds, into the, uh, into the trees. Or the bank or, or whatever. The banks, you know. Uh, it's and a, it, really see exactly what's in there. It'll save me a lot of time when I'm going fishing where I can scan around. There's no fish around here, but I'll get to 2 o'clock yep. and there's some fish there. So I can start casting lures there. It saves me a lot of time casting in no man's land. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, okay, we've got on the screen here, we can see the bank. Now, yep. what are these here? Is that fish? Yeah, those are our live fish. Okay. Now, what if you don't want forward scanning? Um, do you have down view? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll just go back in our home there. Now okay. this, is, this is down view. Okay. okay. So again, this is live, and it's basically showing live straight down the down the back of the boat. So we're looking here, um, you know, in seven and a half meters of water. Yep. Um, we're looking at five meters to the left, five meters to the right of the boat. Yep. Okay. So every time we drop a lure down, we're going to see our lure drop down. We're going to see the reaction of the fish. Now on the screen here, I know this is jigs. Someone's doing some jigging. Yep. And if you can see these two blobs here. That's the jig going up and down. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so, uh, and I know there's a fish coming, because I've seen this before, yep. and a fish will dart in from the side. So you'll see it's live, you'll see a fish come in and hit that lure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, now there's another view as well. Yeah, there is. And this is gonna work great for my dewy fishing. I'm gonna be working holes. So I wanna see what's, where the bait is sitting on the side of the hole. Yep. So we're getting that free do view now. Yeah, yeah we are. I'm just gonna zoom that in there for us a little bit now and it's starting to show the edge of the, our drop-off. You can see this drop-off here, which is really impressive. And we've got bait sitting on the side here. We've got a lot of bait sitting on top. So, Jay, the thing I love about this, if I find a good spot and there's a whole lot of bait holding on the edge of that reef, yep. or the drop-off, I can move the cursor over and mark that yeah, without absolutely. moving the boat. Yeah, 100%. You this know. is amazing technology. Yeah, it's, it's just it's simple to use, you know? Now, years ago, um, this would be over the twenty thousand dollar mark, wouldn't it? To have yeah, and it, and it was only available to commercial fishermen, you know, realistically. Now we've brought it back to to the recreation angler, um, and it's affordable for everybody. So, what's something like this going to cost? The transducer with Penopt is going to cost you two thousand three hundred ninety nine bucks. And you don't need a big sound, You can put it on some of the other Garmin units. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll start with a, a seven inch uh, GPS map seventy four hundred, and uh, and we go from there. Mate, this is great technology, and I can't wait to get out on the water because I reckon it'll change my fishing. Mate, it has to change your fishing. The thing is, we're all limited now for, right. for trying to go fishing. And the easier we can make it, you know, to, to go fishing and, and see the fish, etc. you know, the more we're going to enjoy it uh, and hopefully go out a, a bit, little bit more, you know, and, and utilise that time better. Exactly right. Now, you've got a massive range of Garmin products, not just for fishing, 
Um, for general boating, uh, for sports people, Fitness, for hiking. Outdoor. Everybody yeah. knows someone who's got a Garmin. That's right, exactly. Well, if you want to jump on the website, what's your website, Jason? It's garmin.com.au and check out our Facebook page as well. This week's Berkeley Catch of the Week goes to two great kids, Flynn and Piper Holtzman. Flynn, who is four, caught his first snapper on the Gold Coast Seaway using soft plastics, and Piper caught two great Jews using live bait at the jumping pin. Well done, kids. What a fantastic effort. For these great photos, we'll be sending you a Berkeley prize pack in the mail real soon. For your chance to win, send your photos into Hook TV at bigpond.com. Right, we're wandering around the boat show. We've uh, come across an exciting new product. We've got Michael from Aquanam today. Nice to meet you. Um, run us through what we're looking at here. So what you got here is a jet-powered kayak running a four-stroke 300cc engine putting out about 18 horsepower. It's pretty exciting. Very exciting new product we've got in Australia. Just, just landed here, so three weeks old. What about speeds? What sort of speeds are we getting up to? This one gets up to about 25 knots. You've got a single one that gets up to 30 knots. Oh, uh, very good. So it's got some real pace, about 45 to 50 k's an hour. And with them sort of speeds, uh, what, what sort of license are we talking? Are we talking PWC license or just boat license? Just a standard boat license. There's no PWC rules and regulations around it. So you can take this anywhere around Australia, in the Sydney Harbour, uh, anywhere other rivers, lakes, anything like that. So yeah, very good. Thing. But as you can see, very, very simple to use. Just come down here, turn the all your dials and digits, flick it on, start the engine. Too easy, mate. Beautiful start little engine. You've got all your dry area in here, dry storage. Yep. All storage down the centre. That's very perfect. And you said it was originally uh, designed for fishing? It was. Fishing and hunting enthusiasts. Also recreational walk, driving around for yep. the kids. It's got a very flat bottom hull. Yep. So that helps it for stability, standing around the whole vessel's quite safe. Yeah, okay. So easy enough to fish out of. And obviously a lot of different options there for accessories. Exactly. And... You've got the options there. Different little holders, fishing holders, anchors, yep. night lights, everything like that. Uh, great little boat. Yeah, very fun good. Fun too, really good fun. Zoom around, nice little easy steering. So someone trying to get into the market, obviously affordable enough to get on the water yep. in a powered vessel. Exactly. And get a taste for it and see where you go from there. Exactly. It's, uh, it's simple like that. It's a 12995 boat special. Yep. Uh, RP 1450. Oh, very good. All right, thanks for taking the time and no uh, showing us through your product. Where can the consumers at home uh, check your product out at? Uh, just go to www.aquanami.com.au and find more information there. All right, I'm joined here by Ash from Web Marine. How are you, mate? Good, yourself? Good. We're going to have a chat about uh, the good old Honda engines. We're lucky enough to have a 250 on the back of the boat. It pushes us along uh, very nicely on the Alu van. And um, I guess, Ash, run through a few uh, points of why, why it's good to own a Honda engine. Oh, well, I think the number one reason people own a Honda outboard is got to do with reliability. Yep. You can't match them for reliability. That's backed also by it now with a seven-year warranty. They're the first in engine in the, in the industry to come up with a yeah, seven-year warranty. Yeah, very good. Um, environmental consciousness as well with Honda, yep. being a four-stroke, amazing fuel efficiency as you've probably experienced. Yeah, we get we get a lot of uh, a lot of time out of the one tank, obviously, and I guess being a 250, I think it'd be a bit heavy on the juice, but it's not. It's um, yeah, very fuel efficient. It's amazing how some of their big powerhouses are amazingly fuel efficient as well. Yeah, and another big thing is also a lack of emissions. You don't get that smoky outboard that we're all used to in the past. It's lovely and clean and um, makes for a beautiful day out on the water. What about range? Obviously, uh, small engines are very large engines. We're lucky enough to have the 250, but where do they start at? They start at little 2.3 air-cooled. Um, we sell hundreds of them on tenders, yep. all the way to the 250 powerhouse. So something um, to suit more or less every sort of boat? Every range. So, you know, great engines in the 4050 class, the 60, 80 and 100, yep. fantastic. The 135, 150, bulletproof. Uh, and we you can see that you know, we power some sensational boats with that. Some big boats, class. yeah, 2800 yeah. Platinum, and obviously we've got the twin 150s on there, yes. and you said it gets up to about 40 knots? About 40 knots, yeah, for a big boat. Um, you know, people expect it to have bigger engines, but That's it just great, doesn't need it? it. The Honda's just got that much grunt. So. Yeah, awesome. All right, thanks for taking your time out and having a chat to us uh, Good to see about you, the as great usual. engines. Yeah. yeah, you too, and yeah. um, any more info, we uh, just visit Honda on the website, and uh, yeah, thank you. No worries. Oh, we're here with Daryl Head from Hobie. Mate, it's great to see you. Yes, mate. Now, Daryl, you've been on the show a number of times. We've caught bass, we've caught brim, we've had some great trips together. Yeah, we have. All out of a Hobie. Well, yeah, the Hobie. 
Now, this is a new model for 2015. Yeah, so this is the Pro Angler, which we've used in the past. New for 2015, however, is we've got this new hay trail, so we can mount a lot of different accessories to okay. this. So it's really, really good. One of the big features, though, is the new drive. Okay, so what was, what's the difference to the old one? Okay, so the, the old drive looks identical to this one. New features are we've got needle bearings and all the working parts. Okay. So now it's really, really smooth. Nice and smooth. Really smooth. Especially yeah. for lazy guys like me, you That's want it right, as easy mate, yeah. as you can. You'll be able to keep up with me now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's start at the back of the boat because um, there's something new. This is a, a new live well, yeah, isn't so, it? So this is the, the live well XL. Brand new, only seen at the show here. It looks bigger than the old one? Much bigger, yeah. We've got this great hatch on it now. Okay, waterproof yeah. as well. So waterproof, you, water's yeah. not going to So we've got a out. recirculating pump, so we'll pump new water through, it goes okay. out the overflow on the other side. Okay, so it is pumping water? Yep. Runs on a six volt battery, run all day long. Okay, so what's the other features on here? So this is our drain plug, so when we're finished at the end of the day, we lift that up and it'll drain the water away. Okay, beautiful. We've got a magnetic switch on it these days. Okay, okay? nice. So there's nothing to go, nothing to fail now. Comes with rod holders? It does. Two rod holders are standard. Okay. Awesome. Uh, we've got a cup holder on this side. Yes, rod, uh, the rod holder upgrades, so we've now got some rod holders to help us just keep our rods off the floor of the car. We're looking at here, we can have six rods if we wanted to. We can do six rods, yeah. Nice comfy seat. Yep, the seat hasn't changed, still the old comfy seat. It was already perfect, we didn't need to change that. That's right. The only other feature that we've got that's extra now is we've got a drop down ski in underneath the boat. Okay. That keeps us nice and straight as we're travelling to our destination. Now we've still got our, our controls. We do, yeah. So you'll notice on this boat here we've fitted two steering handles so we can steer from either side. Okay, great. Now we move down towards the front, nice big hatch. Yeah, great big hatch. So you can put ice in here, the bucket, keep Beautiful. your catch on ice straight away. And you're not going to get any water into your, your, no, your Hobie? No, you won't. All right, well that's a great Hobie there. There's a massive range, isn't there? It is a massive range. It is amazing. You really need to jump online and have a look at it. And what's the website? Um, that would be hobiefishing.com.au. Now, if anyone wants to go fishing with you, Daryl, what's your website there? Uh, that would be Bone Basin Sports Fishing. Give Daryl a call and check out the Hobie uh, website for the great range, and this man will take you and catch you some great fish. Mate, it's great to catch up with you. Yeah, good to catch up. Hi guys, it's Jackie. I'm a Malaysian restauranter and street food specialist. Now, I like to call this dish Jackie and Prawns and the reason for it, I'm going to explain as I go through my cooking process. But in the meantime, I've got some prawns over here and just a few simple ingredients, things that you can easily pick up at your local supermarket. You don't have to hunt them down in Chinatown or anything like that. Just got some oil, you can use butter. I prefer butter usually actually. And some egg yolks. Just some sliced chilies over here, evaporated milk, some chicken stock granules, and you can just use salt if you like, or you can use a vegetarian a vegetable stock seasoning or something like that similar. I've got some oats over here, and just some spring onion and some sugar. Okay, now I'm just gonna heat up the oil in this frying pan here. Now, the reason why I call this Jackie and Prawns is now Malaysian food evolves quite quickly. When I left Malaysia about 30 years ago, this dish did not exist, but then I heard so much about it in Australia about this wonderful dish called cereal prawns. So I did some research online, uh, dug up a bunch of recipes and experimented, and it turned out I got a few things wrong, including the fact that cereal does not really equate with oats. But I ended up using oats and developed this recipe that I thought doesn't taste actually too bad at all. And in fact, I added it to my restaurant menu. So since then, I've called it Jackie and Prawns, okay? So I've got the oil going here. I'm just going to throw in the oats. And just mix it around. You just want to crisp it out a little bit. And the other thing I got wrong was I actually combined cereal prawns with a different Malaysian prawn recipe as well. So I'm adding evaporated milk, which usually cereal prawns does not include, okay? So got this, and now I'm just going to throw in the evaporated milk. And I'm going to throw in the egg yolks here, okay? Just mix it up. Just get them all to combine really well. Now I'm going to throw in the prawns. Okay. 
and you want the eggs to mix well with the oats so it just gives the dish a really nice texture okay and body as well I'm just gonna throw in more evaporated milk in here and some sliced chilies if you've got curry leaves you can throw those in as well and they do add a certain an extra note of interest to the whole dish I couldn't find any curry leaves this time around so I'm leaving it out but something to keep in mind when you experiment with this dish and the other thing you can do as well you can actually separately flash fry the prawns and then toss it in which would let this cook a little bit faster because right now you just got to simmer the prawns for a couple of minutes to make sure they cook through properly I'm just going to turn down the heat a little bit. I'm going to add some seasoning. And this is just chicken stock granules. Not too much of that. And some sugar, just a pinch of sugar. And just make sure the prawns are cooked through and then you can serve. Now, if you like this recipe, don't forget to visit my website. I've set up a special landing page called uh, jackiem.com.au slash fish. And there you can sign up to receive this recipe and a whole bunch of other recipes to do with seafood and other in very, very interesting Southeast Asian dishes. And also, I'm going to divulge to you all my secret tips and techniques that I've learned over 20 years or so of running my own Malaysian food business and Malaysian restaurant so that you too can one day open your own Asian restaurant, if you so wish. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more evaporated milk to this. And it's just about done. Just have a taste to make sure that things about right. These chilies are quite spicy, so I can taste the uh, heat in this dish. Otherwise, it just tastes perfect. And I'm just going to serve it up on a plate. And just add a few more chilies for garnish. Sprinkling of sliced spring onion. And maybe a coriander as well. There you go. That's my Jackie and prawns. And don't forget to look up the recipe at my website, jackiem.com.au slash fish is where you'll be able to sign up to get all my recipes. Thanks guys, I'll catch you next time. Okay, here we are still at the boat show. Uh, Dean from Stress Free Marine, how's the, how's the show been treating you? Yeah, it's been excellent. You know, we've got a, a lot of coverage and um, we've got a lot of our boats here with uh, our winches in. We've sold plenty, so yeah, it's been a great show. It's great to be in Sydney. And along with the anchor winches, um, you diversified a little bit into your trailer winch, and uh, we'll talk about the fishing rod in a minute. But um, I've just been checking out this trailer winch, and you've got some great options on it. You run us through a few, a few different things, mate? Yeah, the beauty about our trailer winch is it's, it's uh, designed to be able to pull a boat off the beach uh, onto a trailer, because a lot of places you go where it's, it's very hard to get to, with the trailer winch, with the wireless remote control, you, you've got no worries. You can just pull it in or out without without the effort. And we're, we're talking about what sort of size boat are we talking about here? Yeah, well, you'll pull up to a seven, eight metre boat off the uh, onto a trailer uh, without any effort. 
Tech, great, great product, all stainless steel, Australian made. And um, obviously you've got your control here, but you've just mentioned the, the, uh, the remote control, so handy. You can actually stand yeah. next to your boat and make sure it's on the trailer right when, you, when you're winching it up. Yeah, that's the beauty about the hands-free because you can walk around the back if the boat's swinging around, if your beach launching and it, it just gives you full control. Great product. All right, I can see the fishing rod here. Um, deep sea fishing takes a lot of work out of uh, bringing a fish up from a couple of hundred metres and I noticed you've got more or less a similar setup as to your winches. Yes, yeah, so we've got the same motor and gearbox that's on our fishing reel because it's simple, there's nothing to go wrong with it. Uh, they'll pull up to 300 kilos. Yep and they've got a great speed on them. We've made them in two speeds, so they'll come up at 100 metres a minute on quick. fast speed, and then a slow speed of around 15 metres a minute. Oh, very so good. it gives you the option to get in front of the sharks when they're chasing the fish. All right, thanks for uh, spending a bit of time with us today. You've got a great product. Obviously, it uh, takes a lot of hard work out of pulling your anchor up. Yeah. And uh, where, can, where can we find out more about your product? Yeah, well, we've got a website that's got a full range on there and you go to www.stressfreemarine.com.au. All right, great product and um, I'm sure you'll sell lots of them. Thank you. Okay, here we are at the uh, Bower Boat Hire Stand with Anthony. How are you, mate? Good, good, babe. That's great. Pretty, pretty easy to understand why we're here. Boat hire. Um, run us through and tell us about your service. All right, so what Boab's about is takeaway boat hire. Uh, all you need is a boat licence. We run from smaller tinnies for, for four people up to our offshore range. Um, they've got 150 horsepower Honda. All our boats are powered by Honda. Yep. And um, they come ready to go, mate. They can be delivered on the water or you can hook them up to your car and take them away. What about location wise? All around Australia? All over Australia. We've got more locations coming on. So um, you can go to that location, use it there, or you can pick it up and take your favourite spot close by. Oh, very good. Probably an uh, exciting thing coming up for you is jet ski hire. Jet skis, mate. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just looking at the market. We've been asked for a long time about jet skis, and it does make sense to hire them. Yep. Right? So we're, um, we're just looking into that now, and it won't be too far away. Oh, very good. And uh, probably the best thing about hiring a boat, you don't have to worry about cleaning it and maintain and rego and all the things that go along with owning a boat. Yep. So uh, you hand the boat back at the end of the day and, and it's beautiful, oh, isn't it's it? perfect. So, you know, they can be delivered, climb aboard, use them for the day. At the end of the day, you come back, yep. you hand them back, away you go. So how do we find out about, you got a website, phone number? We've got a brand new website, www.boabboats.com.au. No worries. Thanks for joining us today. Thank um, you. Hope you have a good show. You too. Thanks, mate. Well, there you have it, Bo, the International Boat Show. Lots to see and do. And how about that kayak? How about that kayak? I, uh, I'm looking forward to getting on the harbour in one of those. I can't wait to hook up on a big king. <laughs> Imagine it. that. Fantastic. 30 knots, pretty quick. Yeah, very quick. Now, also, the Garmin Penoptics, that is absolutely mind-blowing, isn't it? It is, mate. It is a game-changer. To see that technology on that screen, the live screen, I know, it, Unbelievable. It's going to change the way we fish. It is. Definitely is. I hope you enjoyed the show, guys. So I'm soft, though. You've been watching Fish and Hunt Australia. We'll see you around Australia Fishing somewhere next week. Away. So if I hook the big one, or I hook a small one, I'm hooked on fishing again. I'm hooked on fishing again.